Favorite saint. Um, being Polish, I love I love Saint Maria Faustina Kowalska, and I love Saint Maximilian Kolbe, and I love Blessed John Paul II. But perhaps my favorite might be Saint Patrick, just because he went into a country that was not Christian and he evangelized it completely. My favorite movie is actually a tie. So off the top of my head, the ones I came up with was the uh, the Count of Monte Cristo with Jim Caviezel. It's fantastic. It has a bit of uh, of Catholicism behind it, even though the vengeance he kind of takes for himself instead of leaving it to God. But at the end of the movie, he has his conversion by that time, and it's very good, exciting. Um, the other movie would have to be Troy, um, and if for no other reason other than Brad Pitt's hair. It's a good movie. It's really exciting. Gets me jazz. It wasn't until adulthood when it really took hold. You know, because it wasn't the popular thing to do. You know, every girl I would date or would want to date was either Mormon or an evangelical Christian, so it definitely wasn't a popularity thing. But it seemed to contain the truth. The more I learned about St. Ignatius and the order, I said, yeah, this is, this is what I want. This is, this is me. I remember thinking, okay, God, you know, yeah, I could be a priest. But it was kind of like Ian's way. I could do it Ian's way. So I was go. I was full-blown full, full blown going for, for them. And Brother Jim in the, in the, uh, at Loyola Marymount, after I had been there about three or four times and I thought everything was a go, he has a meeting with me and he says, Ian, uh, this is in your ear. And I think back to the call of, of Levi, where Jesus says, come, follow me. And Matthew gets up from his table and he goes, Lord, is that not me? Am I not sitting at my desk working and I want to get up and go, but I can't? Why not? Have you not called me? And so in my thinking, I said, okay, why have I not even thought about the diocesan? Or why did I put that on the back burner? Why did I discard it so quickly? And the more I thought about it, I said, you know what, Lord, if I'm going to follow you, I might as well do it wholeheartedly. And, and so the more I started looking into it, the more I said, okay, no, Lord, this is where you want me. Because this isn't about me anymore. It's about you. My life is yours. And so in doing that, I saw him directing me here. All I can do is every day try and remove a little bit more of the ego because after 21 after 24 years 25 years you've built up a pretty good ego especially being a ball player you know you have this very high opinion of yourself and you need to go out cocky so it's it's hard that so to me that's the hard transition is shedding my ideas of what my future looks like and allowing god to work slowly picking away at those ideas of that i have and say and say, Ian, this is where I want you to be. This is what I want you to learn. Just Psalm, 40, Psalm 47, you know, be still and know that I am God. Just be still, Ian. And so that's kind of how I'm preparing myself. It might be Psalm 46, I'm not sure. But it's one of those. <laughs>